one important aspect that Jesus wants to tell these Pharisees was that he is the Lord of the Sabbath. To show that we had the power over the Sabbath. Because they had beautiful observances of the Sabbath. And if you look at the Sabbath law in the book of Torah, you have so many rules, so many rituals. It's quite interesting. It's quite interesting and quite uh, spiritual and really uh, making the celebration very solemn. But what happens when they are caught up with the Sabbath law and not bothered about the little mercies of the sacrifice? Therefore, we see in the first reading what the Passover is and how they celebrate the Passover. Now Jesus comes in to bring the new covenant. It shows that he had not abolished the Passover. He brings in the fulfillment of the Passover by he himself being offered as a sacrifice. Therefore, he becomes the lamb, the lamb that was sacrificed. Therefore, for him to say, the Son of Man is the Lord of the Sabbath, was to show that he is going to do away with the Passover celebration of the Jewish custom and bring in the sacrifice of himself and how it is important for people to acknowledge that he is going to die once and for all for humanity and by his death purchase all our sins and thereby grant us salvation. Therefore, to make them understand this, he very clearly says, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. This is one important aspect for Jesus to teach these Pharisees. He was going on the way, he went to the field, and then his disciples, in a way, broke the law. But Jesus took the advantage of that to teach them the beautiful new covenant. The old covenant is gone. The new covenant is now what Jesus wants to tell them. Therefore, he has to pass over all these observances of the Sabbath for the present Pharisees uh, to understand the sacrificial offering. The sacrificial offering of the Son of God himself. We offer this again here in the Eucharist. And every Eucharist is a very symbolic Passover. But we have this Eucharist where the new covenant, Jesus himself being lifted up. And therefore, we celebrate it in his memory. And that is how every Mass or every Eucharist or every sacrifice becomes, in a way, a Sabbath for us. It's not only on Sunday that we have today a Sabbath. But every time that we celebrate the Eucharist is almost like a Sabbath. Because the Jewish custom was, the Sabbath was the only day they had the sacrifice. But we celebrate every day Mass. And therefore, it becomes a sacrifice and a celebration of our giving to the gift of Jesus is sacrifice. Therefore, he said, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. He desires the mercy, not 